When people go on about all we turn, they talk about the pear, bagatelle, the pink flamingo, and even the bird Kirk Cullen. And yet they tend to overlook the most famous thing of all, harp. Your average man on the street just sees it as a bloody great lager, but for us Pred and Dockians it's a lot more. Drinking harp does be in Dundalk people's blood, the same way as the American Indians taking peyote, or the hell tribes of Laos blasting away at the opium, or the Maasai tribes on the daft buck and pogo, before the brewery even opened its doors, our forefathers and at least one or two mothers were passing the recipe down from generation to generation. And don't even start me on the healing properties of the drink. My woman's father used to take it for depression. And her uncle and mine you swear by it for dehydration and it's a cure for a whole host of other things like halfway anxiety. Unfortunately it's not a cure for ignorance. Did your mother never tell you how rude it is to be lying on your back when someone doing their best to be friendly and that? What the fuck is it today with everyone wearing oxygen masks? Some people do drink it as a means of communicating with family that's passed on. If you don't believe me, go out to Donald's Hill. Some days you can't see the gravestone for all the fucking half then. Where are you going with your fumes, you fat bully Hitler tash? I think there's something inherently wrong with a religion that makes school children take a pledge in the shadow of the half brewery. They should be handing them a can on the way in as a sort of welcome to the rest of your life, kid. What are you fucking slobbering about? Joe, sure, how could it be against the law if it's part of your culture? I want you over here to clown in a bar telling his mate that half tasted like bat's piss and give him a whore of a hangover. Can you believe that shite? He should have been happy because it'd be the only whore he'd get his hands on. You want to see the state of the cunt tumors? Probably from Drona where they don't even have their own brewery, which is some surprise when you consider the amount of drunks in the place. And if you don't fucking believe me, Wick a fucking PDS.